What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. I get asked very often about where I get my mods from and I just wanted to make a quick video real quick showing you guys where you could get the mods that I use in my video. Primarily pretty much every mod that I use in my videos I made myself so these mods are all made by me. They are available for you guys to get. Um, they are on my Patreon. You just got to subscribe to the Road 2 tier and then it gives you access to all the mods I have ever made. So yeah, man, all these cool mods that I'm going to be showing, you can get access to them. And uh, there's some good mods, man. I really put a lot of time into these. I'm going to leave a link in the comment section. I'm going to pin it. So go down there and look right now. There's going to be a link to my Patreon. Click on that. It's going to take you there and you can subscribe to the, I do have a row 1.5 tier. That's not going to give you access to all the mods I have. It's just going to give you partial access to a select number of mods. But if you do row two, you get everything. So that's really the one that pretty much everybody does is row two so uh it's the most beneficial all right so right here we got the drag supra man this thing is uh this thing's pretty crazy let's go ahead and get it pulled around right here i don't know how good the the lighting's not the best on elm creek that's just kind of the map i chose to show you guys this real quick and just wanted you know to address this because i know we've gained a lot more subscribers since i initially made a video like this a little while back and i still have people always asking me like hey man where can i find these mods you know where do i get them and i'm just you know making this the way i can kind of address that all in one uh so if we come around here this the lighting looks a little better here man the lighting on tahitian county is so good so if you push the button there you can see you go ahead and get this opened up and we have a nice super there it's a drag super that i built and uh yeah you can also remove the hood too and let's see here go ahead and close that back well actually turn on your lights this is a kind of like a radio type system thing for your subwoofers and everything now you can see this one has the hood off of it and it's very detailed engine man now the rest of these i'm probably just going to go through like this and kind of show you guys this way so we got all of the different engine tunes right here for the for the hellcat drag build and we got a willy bar you can add on there so i wanted this to be basically like a car you could build from scratch so it didn't necessarily look like an all-out drag car but you could make it look that way like we got a parachute we got a willy bar you can add on uh we got the wing you can add on we got a hood you can do the hood like that no hood hood on all that man and uh, of course you can change the color as well go to dodge one gen this is a really cool one here really like this one you can do color match trim no color match you can have the dually fenders or stock and then let's see toolbox and this toolbox opens as well do color match on the bumper there so you can have full color match man if you really want to mirrors color match or stock we even have a back rack there it works and lights up let's see we can color it red if you want yellow doesn't matter this is one that I actually made. It was inspired by uh, Cletus McFarland's rollback that he has. And I built this bed from scratch, but I should have used, see, I modeled that entire bed. But if you guys look, it's uh, it's pretty rough. Yeah, it looks really bad. And that is because I didn't use a subdivision modifier in Blender. And I tried to go back and add it after I did I just forgot. And yeah, um, so learn my lesson on that. Uh, I'm going to remake this bed. See, I did use the modifier on the rails on the side, and they turned out really good. And I used it on majority of everything, man, but just just missed that, you know, so that could have looked a lot better than what it does right now. So everything you see back there on the back of that truck, I modeled, hand modeled the lights, everything, man, even took and stretched it. So I will be building that again, kind of redoing that, and then we will have a rollback for us. That way, you know, do some hauling with some vehicles and everything. We got the super right here, like I showed you guys. Here's the different options. Now, this is my real life card. You guys will be able to see this in a video later today. That's kind of why this video is going to be you know, made to be like a quicker type video because I am going to do some stuff to this car for an IRL video today. So just be on the lookout for that. And don't mind the uh, little trim pieces from the headlights messed up right there. Inside Giant's Editor, it's part of like your rotation for your uh, needle for like the speedometer or something. So it's got it like, you know, moved up or that may be actually for the tailgate. Anyway, just know that I know how to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I just haven't got around to it. Um, but that car is uh, another work in progress right now. But yeah, this is one we're working on. That is my real life car right there. A 2011 Infiniti G37. I actually just ended up buying it. If you do some research on those cars, man, they're very easy to mod and make pretty dang fast for what they are. Those cars in a man, they do great. We also have a replica build of Leroy. Has the turbos and everything there, and they spin, of course. And yeah, that uh, that engine setup's crazy. Now, I know you guys know this car. This is a replica build of Mullet. 
You can change all what the dash looks like and change the hood, do it on or off. We got the Raptor right here. We got the different engine options, tire options, different bumper style for the front. We got the different decals for the back. Thanks for Cat to getting those made up for me. Let's see. And then we got the bed accessories there. And of course, you can change the color. You can always change the color on all my mods. This is one that I do want to release. I got to finish it. The Cat I Swap 2005 Chevy Tahoe modeled after my real life Tahoe. Now this truck here, man, I made this a while back. It's got a CM flatbed, transfer tank, all that great stuff. Hood opens up, doors open up. Got a bunch of options here. I just wanted to add a good bit of options to this thing. Got a winch up front, got a Drake front plate. Uh, we got a Jeep Wrangler here. This little thing is pretty neat, you know, can lift it. I do want to build like a crazy, insane, just lifted Jeep Wrangler there. That would be cool. We got the ducks on the dash, you know, we got the roof light bar. And we got the rat rod. This one uh, has been, I built this a while back and this is a pretty cool ride too. Oh man, it looks so good in that red like that. <laughs> That's most of the mods I wanted to show you guys. Now we got some right here. I'm only going to show the mods that are mine. All right, so now we got the Denali 2024 GMC Denali right there. Thing is a beauty and it looks, whew, it looks so, so good. Let's see some different colors on it. Gray, change all the colors. Ooh, that gray, silver is white. Got a black, or no, it's more like a dark, dark red kind of type, burgundy. I don't know. You guys, let me know down in the comments what color you think that is. Got a SRT Ram. Dude, I've made a lot of mods. I forget about that. So yeah, you get access to all of these that I've showed if you become a member of Road 2. We even got a second gen Dodge right there. So if you guys were waiting, hoping I had one, there you go. We got it. And of course, we will be releasing more things. I'm working on another mod right now. It's going to be a drag build. So you guys can see the sneak peek of that on my Patreon about what it is that I'm building. We even have a C10, man. A C10 drag truck. This thing here looks so good. It is so beautiful. It's modeled kind of like after my real life C10 that I have. I have an 84 Chevy C10 in real life. And this is kind of like modeled after it. Got a drag Camaro here. Make it red. You can make it yellow. Any color you want. Got the SEMA Ram. Now, this is a uh, this is something I built a while back, and uh, this thing looks pretty cool, too. I want to do an update to it, though, kind of redo a few things, but the lift on this thing is crazy, man. It looks really, really good. I need to take that lift off and put it on some more things. I actually have another lift that we're going to be using and another truck, too, as well. It's an F-350, and uh, yeah, it's really nice. And here we have it, the first mod I ever made. This is the first thing I ever built. This is what taught me a lot about modding. This one doesn't have a lot of options just because back then I was still learning. This here is a really good truck. I really like this thing, man. And it looks great. It has interior, of course, all that. Let's see some different colors. Got some yellow there. Some uh, chrome. Ooh, the chrome looks crazy. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, man, looks really good. Now that is all the vehicles right there. Just wanted to go over it and show you guys and uh, just kind of, you know, hopefully inform and kind of let you guys know where I'm getting all of my mods. I taught myself how to mod and model in Blender. And from there, I just put that into making mods. Uh, just click on the link in the comments there. I got it pinned just to make it easy for you guys to find. And I think we're going to go ahead and get out of here for the day. We should have a real life video being posted today as well if i can get outside right now and get to work on the car in order to use that for some video footage anyway you guys hope you did enjoy this video right here i'll see you guys tomorrow in another video goodbye guys